and hello again Shima girls I hope you ladies have been doing excellent just as I have okay guess what we're going to learn how to do in this video now what we're going to learn how to do in this video is something that I've gotten many questions about and that is how do you moisturize your braids or your two strand twist or your French braids you know because when you do your braids they're ba your, basically all your hair is covered your real hair is out of the way but you want to, you know, put the oil within the braids. You know, you want it to touch your real hair. That is if you're using, you know, fake hair to do your braids, which I've used in the past as well. I've used, you know, the Cancalon hair to, you know, add, add bulk and body to my, my braided hairstyle. And I've shown you those pictures as well in plenty of my videos. So I'm going to show you a very simple, feasible trick here. So you can moisturize these particular protective styles as feasibly as possible. Okay, so basically it's this. Take out your 8 ounce shima oil. So take out your 4 ounce shima oil. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is this. Take out an empty spray bottle. This uh, Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner has been emptied out already, <laughs> which means I've already used it all. So this is this serves as an empty spray bottle. You know, with whatever empty spray bottle you have in your house, take it out, and you know, bring it over and do this with me. All right. Your Shima oil, empty spray bottle. All right. Very simple, like I said. Unscrew the cap of your Shima oil. Unscrew the cap of your empty spray bottle. Take your Shima oil and pour it into the empty spray bottle. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to pour all of the oil, the entire bottle, the Shima oil, into the empty spray bottle. But just enough, you know, just enough to do the trick for your protective style. And you know I have a whole heap of hair here, so I'm going to have to pour a, a bit more than most of you ladies. But, you know, just pour as much as you need for your particular hair length. Okay. Screw the cap back on of your Shima oil. Screw the cap back on of your empty spray bottle, which is no longer empty. Now it has Shima oil in it. Okay. And... One important thing I want to point out, you don't have to shake the Shima oil once it's in the empty spray bottle and you don't have to shake it even if you didn't, um, you know, transfer it into an empty spray bottle. There's no need to shake the Shima oil. The Shima oil is already a concentrated formula, okay, that does, does, it is not necessary to shake it, okay. The potency of the Shima oil will remain the same without shaking it. Even if you shake it, it nothing's going to happen, but it's not necessary to shake it. Just leave it as it is. <laughs> Okay, so start spraying. Let's pretend that what I'm wearing is braids, by the way. I just basically removed my roller set, okay? But, you know, this could easily be single braids. This could easily be the locks, you know. If you happen to be wearing any of those particular hairstyles, just take it by section. And I always suggest you start from the bottom. But, you know, it's okay to start from the top. But, you know, I want to condition you ladies to always concentrate on the ends of your hair. Because remember, the ends is the part of the hair that breaks the fastest and the easiest. And we need to concentrate on the ends so they can stop breaking so fast. Okay? So they can stop breaking at all. Alright? So now start spraying. All right, you see that? Spray, spray. See how easy it is? Okay. You know, take another section. 
on the bottom up. Okay. And remember, you're in the comfort of your own room. And you can see yourself doing it in, in your own vanity mirror. I'm looking at the camera, you ladies, so and you can see exactly how to do it. But it's very simple, as you can see. Okay. So you can do it all like this. But I strongly suggest if you truly are wearing single braids, if you truly are wearing two-strand twists, if you're wearing locks, take the locks one by one. Take the single braids one by one. Take the two-strand twists one by one and spray them. And make sure that they're thoroughly sprayed with the Shima oil. Okay, so that's very simple to do. That means you don't have to, you know, take the Shima oil now and pour it into your fingers and, you know, start massaging it into each braid. You don't have to do that. Okay, if you follow this trick that I'm showing you, you don't have to do it, you know, the, the hard way. Okay, we're trying to make our Shima hair growth journey as easy as possible here. Okay, and this is so easy and simple and, and fun. And you'll be, and you'll be finished in, in minutes in minutes okay okay so since I just have a, a simple roller set here all I got to do is basically just you know spray spray thoroughly and then with my own fingers I just massage the oil in, in you know within the hair because my hair is totally loose it's not in the it's not in any braids or in any single locks or any or any of those particular protective styles my hair is totally loose Okay, because if your hair is in braids, it means it's not totally loose. Your hair is basically tucked in. Okay. Yay! Look how simple and fun this is to do. Now I'm going to uh, moisturize enough where I don't have to moisturize for the next four to five days. Because after this, I put my hair back in its original Shima bun, okay? Original hair bun that I like to do, you know, when you see me at the show and I remove the bun and I shake, 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 with, <laughs> shake my hair and swing it back and forth. <laughs> that's what I do and, you know, that's my, my favorite particular style is the Shima bun. And ta-da! We're done, ladies. You see, that's it. We're finished for today. That's what I wanted to show you. And again, very simple. Remember, you take your Shima oil, the eight ounce or the four ounce bottle. You take an empty spray bottle. Remember, I already completed my Shima Harry Pear Leave-In Conditioner, so this became an empty spray bottle for me. You know, you choose an empty spray bottle that you may have in your own vanity um, mir um, mirror area, and you pour the Shima oil into the empty spray bottle. You don't have to pour it all, remember? Or it, or if it's already going to be finished, yeah, then pour it all. But if it's all the way to the top, you don't have to pour it all. Just enough for the length and the thickness of your own hair. And then, again, if you're wearing single braids, individual braids, two-strand twists, the wearing locks, also known as sister locks, take them section by section, okay? Because I want you to concentrate on, on each section so that it can be thoroughly moisturized with your Shima oil. Okay, and after it's already sprayed, then you can later massage it with your fingers to make sure that it's totally, you know, uh, you know, totally saturated in that particular section. You're going to do this once every night, you know, if you're a newbie, once every night, do it. And if you're already an advanced Shima Girls, once every other night should do it. You know, the spraying of, of your protective style, do it once every other night. But this makes, you know, the moisturizing of your protective style go by like this, you know, in minutes. <laughs> and that's what I wanted. I, I want you ladies to, to learn, you know, the quick, fast, easy um, Shima hair growth tricks. <laughs> so your Shima hair growth journey can be fun and exciting and not be hard work, you know, take the, the word work out of the, your vocabulary during your Shima hair growth journey. At the beginning, okay, it's going to feel like work because, you know, everything is kind of brand new to you or totally new to you. 
but after a while you get the hang of it and it's not work it's just exciting and fun because you know your hair is growing you know your hair is is healthy uh, um you know that you, you're you're reaching your goal you're reaching your shima hair hair growth journey and well i wish you ladies the best of luck take care god bless and i hope you learned a lot with shima again bye